Hi, I'm Leslie Mueller. Welcome to Museum Access, the show that takes you behind the scenes at America's top museums. We're in northern Manhattan in Fort Tryon Park at the Cloisters Museum, home to an extraordinary collection of art and architecture from medieval Europe. So what can someone expect to see if they come here to the Cloisters? Well, the first thing really is that sense of being transported in time and place. It's hard to imagine that you're actually on the island of Manhattan when you're here. You're so right. And in terms of the collections, I mean, the core experience is one that's architectural. And then uh, in addition to that, you can see really most of the major art forms that were produced during the Middle Ages. Stained glass, one of the really wonderful things about the cloisters is that all of our stained glass is lit by natural light. So you're seeing it the way that it was really meant to be seen. We have sculpture, we've got goldsmith work, ivories, precious materials, um, manuscripts that are hand painted on parchment, which is the way the mm. books would have been made up until the advent of the printing press. Now we're here and we're in this fantastic chapel. Tell me where we're standing. So we're standing in a space that when the cloisters first opened was an exhibition space. But then in the 1950s, the cloister started negotiations with the Spanish government to purchase what was a standing apse, a standing architectural structure in a region of Spain called Segovia. And that apse behind us, that large architectural structure. So the apse is the archway? Is or the archway what's and beyond? everything behind that. I see, yeah. okay. It's about 3,200 individual um, stones oh. that were disassembled. Oh. And they're actually not owned by the Met. They're a permanent loan from the Spanish government. That was part of the negotiations that took place in the 50s. Huh. I'm sure the simplicity of this design kind of belies a very complex process. Yeah, these are incredibly time intensive to make. All of the individual colors that you see are dyed threads. Mm. So it's sort of like a, uh, think of it as a, as a painting in thread. And some of the greatest artists of their day would have been commissioned to make the designs for these tapestries. And then whole workshops of people would have been involved in executing those designs in the, to make what we're actually looking at. So you have to explain to me, what is this gorgeous garden? Do you even call it a garden? This is. This is our central kind of main ornamental garden. Ornamental um, garden, okay. It's really the first, for the most, most people that come to the museum, it's the first garden that they encounter. Um, so it's designed to be overall ornamental, like a beautiful garden, but it very much takes its cues from um, a medieval pleasure garden. The cloister certainly is a crown jewel overlooking the Hudson River in Manhattan, and it's home to over 5,000 medieval works of art. Learn about her fascinating history and priceless collections on the next Museum Access.